Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of The Drive by Gigi, that's me. Today I've come to the glorious Ashgood Sports Cars uh, Independent Porsche Specialist and uh, today I'm going to show you this 2011 987 Cayman R PDK gearbox in a cracking silver colour contrasted with the black mirrors, black wheels and the black rear spoiler. It looks absolutely awesome. Um, so this one's got 3.4 litre flat six mid-engine seven speed uh, PDK and uh, you could have had this in, in the manual obviously at the time. Uh, it's got 48,000 miles on the clock. Um, this one is very similar to the, the Spider, which you've seen in the other video. Um, it weighs a little bit heavier, 1300 kilos, which is not bad considering it's got a hard top on it. Um, average miles per gallon, 31. CO2 emissions, a bit less than Spider, 214. Um, 0 to 60 time, 4.4 seconds. Top speed slightly higher than the, the Roadster uh, at 174 miles per hour. Um, brake horsepower, 326, 370 newton meters of torque, um, and a brake horsepower per tonne figure of 251. Um, so there we go, quick introduction to the Cayman R. It's a beautiful example, and it will be very difficult leaving this showroom today without this car. It looks fantastic, but it's sold. Okay, no picture really does this car justice. The, the slope on that roof is delicious. It really is. It reminds me of the old 996 Turbo. It really is a lovely sloping roof, and I don't think you get it. It doesn't do it justice until you actually see it in person. And uh, this one's got the nice rear wiper. Um, and again, you just see how the body color shines. Really, really, really nice. Black spoiler, Cayman R. Something special. Okay, same wheels as on the uh, 987 Spider. Lovely gloss black um, and lightest wheels Porsche have ever put on a car. Um, 19 inch, two three fives on the front, two six fives on the back. Um, the disc, the vented discs are slightly larger on the front at 318 millimeters and discs on the rear also vented 299 millimeters. So there we go. These babies are going to keep you on the road and many hours cleaning these things are going to put a big smile on your face. Beautiful. Okay, let's just check out these lightweight aluminium doors and the classic. So again, they feel much lighter than before. They've got the lovely Porsche clonk. Really nice feel. Right on Porsche. Okay, looking at the interior, got these fabulous Porsche seats, leather um, all the way through, um, look like two-way electric to me. Um, you got the beautiful hard back in silver colour and glorious deep pile carpet on the back and that's the view out the rear window and as you look steering wheel we've got these fantastic milled paddles no binnacle over the top of the dials but that looks really cool because you've got the contrasting body color there so that looks really nice and again same like the spider you've got the color coded gearbox tunnel in the body color which looks really nice it's actually very shiny so really really nice place to be now, because this is the lightweight version, um, we had these door pulls in fabric. Um, it's got the Bose sound system, and that's about it. The, the armrests are in leather. There's no storage bins. They've been removed to save weight. Um, and they are not in leather, but they're in just a, a nice feeling, um, kind of a sort of a leathery feeling product. So yeah, nice, it's a nice place to be. Okay, climbing into the Cayman R is always a very exciting experience. And this is the view you're greeted with. Three very simple dials, 190 miles per hour on the main speedo, 
8,000 RPM and your fuel and oil temperature. And again, this lovely, clean aluminium fill. There you've got the sports chrono clock. These all feel really nice, nice and tight. And then you've got the lovely PDK gearbox and this all falls to hand really, really nice. So there we go. get in the, uh, the Cayman R and you start it up it's a visceral experience you know you can you can hear the engine you can feel it through the seats and it's a lovely lovely solid hum just to give it a few little beans beautiful eh? who doesn't love that noise one thing I should say as well is once you turn the engine off you also get that lovely smell of fuel old school garagey mechanic -y smell fantastic okay some of the measures that porsche um, used on this game and are to make it lightweight very similar to the similar to the spider um, this is around 50 kilos lighter than the other um, the conventional boxer s of this model range um, so as I've said before, it's got aluminium doors. Uh, this one doesn't have the carbon bucket seats, but you could have spec them at the time. Um, very lightweight wheels. Um, you could have removed the radio, the door handles, the air conditioning, storage compartments, cup holders, uh, and um, they actually give this model a, um, a smaller, a 10, 10 litre smaller fuel tank. Now I'm not sure whether it was standard or whether that was optional. Um, I will check. Um, and of course you could have added some of that stuff back in so this one has the the radio and the PCM unit which I think you would have unless you were really not interested in uh, listening to music or, or you know using the sat nav to drive places from looking at the internet there looks to be around 1400 of these made um, of which 220 were in the UK so they're really quite rare um, again you've got this beautiful body painted um, gearbox tunnel i love it um, you've got cayman r here on there and you've also again this one rides 10 millimeters lower than the uh the, the normal boxer s and good old school hydraulic steering and the bhp per ton on this one is 251 which is pretty good um, and the other thing as well the exhaust note from inside the car is delicious I wouldn't say it's as strong as the 987 Spider, um, but it is nice and you still get the sensation when you're in the car and it makes you rumble a little bit um, and of course this one's got the PDK gearbox um, so overall 50 kilos is quite a lot um, and some of that is in the wheels which you know makes this thing very nimble well while we're here it'd be rude not to show you some of the other cars i've got lined up here well a collection eh? cayman gt4 in white stunning vehicle um, these things are so good next to it cayman gt4 sorry cayman gts four liter in i think it's a python green looks really nice there we go and there you go you can see the two cars I've just reviewed and the setup here it's a lovely lovely hanger some great artwork on the wall and over here we've got a Cayman S I can't remember what this one is called but they look quite nice in its color so there we go that is now there's, there's actually another two or three buildings here with cars in so i will take you around those but yeah these are the the office, main office here and on the side they've got some cracking lovely big artwork yeah it makes you feel like you're in a proper 
sports car garage. Very cool. Now, some of the things I really like about this car are the things you're going to see every day that you get in. These beautiful black air intakes and this glorious seal, which has the old name enough. It's a fantastic colour, really stands out. And yeah, really beautiful. There we go, <clears throat> inside a 993 turbo with the old school, even that feels lovely and tight. Old school, thin pillars, windscreen right close to the steering wheel from there to there. You know, you're talking one and a half hands, if that really, really, really close. But yeah, lovely. Look at that, beautiful old school old carpet and it's everywhere this is a 993 turbo beautiful gray leather interior oh, yeah these are special 